Radical students holding school admins hostage, one just emerged with shock announcement about what's going down inside, it is, of course, every generation wish to make things better for those who come after them, to make life less of a struggle for their kids and grandkids. We're running into a problem with this current generation of would-be adults though, where they think that everything should be handed to them. They're so used to having everything they want, when they want it that they're entering adult life with their hands stuck out and their mouth spewing whatever disrespectful and aggressive rhetoric that happens to cross their minds and calling it free expression. The big problems arise when these entitled brats run up against someone or something that won't give them what they want when they want it. And considering that it's possible for the generations of entitlement to want conflicting things at the same time, this isn't even a generational conflict issue, it's just an entitlement issue. Unfortunately, these issues have progressed to the point that the believers in this misguided method of living are willing to take drastic and harmful lengths to get what they want, even if that means hurting those who they've hired to teach them. One Washington college has been experiencing this firsthand, and that's when things got out of hand. Via U.S. Herald, on what should be an idyllic site for a college campus, with Portland to the south and Tacoma and Seattle to the northeast, surrounded by forests with the Pacific Ocean to the west, some students at Evergreen State College are anything but happy. In addition to the perfect setting, the 4,440 students have low tuition, only $6,500 per year for in-state students, a politically correct mascot, Speedy the Geoduck a giant robot appreciation society that celebrates Japanese animation, successful soccer and basketball teams, and a student-run radio station. But in addition, the small state college also boasts the Evergreen Socialist Alternative and the Abolish Cops and Prisons Club. Now, after two days of demonstrations and demands for the resignation of a professor who refused to leave the campus for a day of diversity programming for whites only, the protest took a dangerous turn. Leaked video from inside the college showed the scene from within an administration building where some of the students held administrators, including the president of the college, hostage. The surreal scene played out in and around a conference room in the administration building where dozens of students held college president, George Bridges, and his staff hostage while others gathered in the outer office to create a physical presence to prevent them from leaving. The video footage showed Bridges and several members of his staff seated around a conference table surrounded by students when one student, apparently the leader of the protest, told them, the only priority is that y'all stay in this space until those demands can happen so that's the only thing that we're concerned about. The crowd of students in the outer office chanted, hey, hey slash ho, ho, these racist faculty have got to go. At one point, the student leader went on to say that everyone's safety and health is concerned, assuring the hostages, the president of the college and his staff, that they would be provided food and water during the hostage situation, but would not be allowed to leave. Despite the assurances, when President Bridge asked to use the restroom, he was refused and told to hold it. The demands included the suspension of the white professor, Brett Weinstein, who had refused to leave the campus for the diversity training disarming the campus police department, creating a staff position to support illegal immigrant students, and implementing mandatory sensitivity and cultural competency training for all employees. Shockingly, some of the college faculty enthusiastically backed the students endorsing their demands and even encouraging their extreme tactics. As the hostage situation continued, a student emerged from the inner offices and told those gathered in the outer area that President Bridges had spoken to the police and told them to stand down. She also gave them orders. The priority is that they stay in that room. If they aren't in that room, then we did something wrong, so you all need to watch that door, watch all the doors, the windows, you need to keep eyes on them. Somebody needs to go in that room real quick to make sure there's no way for them to leave. Evergreen State College receives 46% of its annual revenue to the tune of $55.2 million from Washington State appropriations in addition to another $32.3 million in state and federal grants. Apparently, however, the Washington State Legislature is not happy with what's going on at the college and one lawmaker has introduced a bill to cut $24 million in annual funding effective immediately. Republican Rep. Matt Manweller the sponsor of the bill said, these students and their administration are trying to undo the civil rights movement, 
Governor Jay Inslee will veto the bill if it ever reaches his desk, but the proposed legislation has the support of the state's Human Rights Commission calling for an investigation into Evergreen's civil rights infractions. The hostage situation at Evergreen State College ended with President Bridges giving in to all the demands and assuring the students that they would suffer no repercussions for their actions. These students resemble children who've decided to hold their breath until they either get their way or pass out. I personally would have voted for the passing out, but as with small children, parents don't seem to like it when you get their babies in trouble. Not only are we raising a bunch of overgrown toddlers who think that the entire world will bow to what they want, but we're basically giving in to terrorists. Main these terrorists don't want to kill us for the fun of it, but it's a similar concept, do what I say or I'll do you harm. If the United States doesn't get situations like this in hand, we might as well let in the Middle Easterners because we'll just eat ourselves alive from the inside. Source, US Herald Share if you think that we shouldn't give in to these kinds of threats. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.